Welcome, welcome, welcome to month 12 of the 100k giveaway. And it is not doing too well. But, and it's also a few days late. I know I've been doing these on the first of each month. Uh, my partner and, and I and the kids have gone on a bit of a staycation. And I've just been wanting to really be present with them. And it's been super difficult. We're in an apartment in the city of Sydney. A two-year-old, a three-year-old, and a sixteen-year-old, and it's super, super difficult to get some quiet to be able to shoot a video. See, this is really the first chance I've had, so I apologise in advance for the delay. But we are still doing the portfolio. We're still giving you guys updates every single month. So I actually posted this on the left uh, yesterday, about 24 hours ago, saying Bitcoin just do something. And yeah, I woke up this morning and it definitely did something. It, it went the wrong direction. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of fear in the streets right now. Uh, and yeah, shameless plug, if you're not following me, head over to uh, Mitch Sanders with two eyes on Instagram. You'll be able to see my daily updates. Uh, and we are definitely in quite the fearful mode. Like crypto Twitter is you know, saying 30K inbound or yeah, even further down from there. Uh, we're currently sitting at extreme fear of a 15 out of 100, with yesterday being a 24, last week being a 22. And generally, you know, I've seen this happen time and time again. This, to me, looks like another shakeout. We've seen uh, the likes of Rawal Powell talking about 2021, the end of 2021, where institutions, hedge funds in the crypto space are selling and collecting their gains and then rebuying in the month of January, whereas it doesn't really look like that's happening so far. We're the first week into to 2022. Uh, it's January 6th here in Australia. It's January uh, 5th in the US. And we haven't really seen a huge amount of buyers happening just yet. Uh, quite to the contrary, we've seen the market capitalization has dropped you know, $200 billion in, in the last week or so. If we, if we look here... You know, we're, we're as high as kind of 2.26, 2.27, and yeah, it's dropped down to almost uh, uh, 2.2.08. So we've seen a huge amount of value has been wiped off the market. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is dropping pretty significantly. It's actually as low at the lowest point that it's been since the start of this year in about April, and you know the data doesn't seem to be correctly displaying but right now we're seeing you know where, where's bitcoin uh 39.45 and yeah overall like looking looking at the chart it's it's looking pretty pretty bleak uh we're seeing uh, a downward trend we've tested this 42k mark uh and we've we're back at the 42k mark on a, on a week uh there's a huge amount of support there from earlier in the year as well as in october uh, so, you know, it's really time will tell if we are going to go lower. Uh, I know that I'm going to be buying Bitcoin anything under 40K, uh, Ethereum anything under th uh, $3,000 US. So I've got buy orders sitting there and it's really just a matter of time. If we look at the ETH chart, it's, it's following suit almost identically. We've seen a, a big, you know, 3,800 to 3,400 candle uh, from yesterday. And just having a quick look at Bitcoin dominance, like I was saying before, we've seen Bitcoin dominance got as high as uh, 47% in, let me just zoom out a little bit, 47% in October. So earlier in the year, we got in January, exactly 12 months ago, Bitcoin dominance was around a 74%. And then by uh, mid to late May, it was down to, to 39.93. If we just throw a quick line on that, you'll see Bitcoin dominance is actually lower right now than, uh, or it's actually broken through that, that support line there where it's been it's been testing it back in September. It's had some decent growth and then it's broken through as of yesterday and it's currently sitting slightly above it if we, if we zoom right in there. Uh, so yeah, Bitcoin dominance wise, it definitely looks like uh, we're gonna see Alt start to get more love in the weeks and or months to come. And uh, looking at CBBI, which is a, a great indicator that aggregates uh, 11 different metrics, and it's been very, very right previously, is saying we're at a 49 out of a 100% chance that we're at the peak or that we've seen the peak. 
And I showed this on, on last, last month's update. And back in, uh, where were we? February 20 last year, uh, when we were at a 56,000, the, the confidence was a 77, which is the highest it's been. And it doesn't actually show, I don't know why, it doesn't show the 60. i will show 64 there. That was at a 73. And then we saw a 69, and the confidence was actually lower. So this, base, based on the 11 metrics here, is basically saying that, that we're, we definitely haven't hit the peak and that we have plenty more to go. I'm still of that belief as well. I think extended cycles have happened. Um, ben Cohen has definitely talked about that a lot, and uh, it's definitely a belief that I follow as well. So let's jump into some news real quick, and I'm going to you know, kind of wrap this up relatively quickly, make it so that it's a nice punchy video, and I can go and spend some time with the kids at the aquarium and the wildlife park. So uh, Mike, Michael Saylor, the poster boy, has bought another almost 2,000 Bitcoin on the 29th of December, uh, almost $100 million worth of, worth of Bitcoin. And this is really, really cool. We're seeing more and more NFT stuff uh, merging into the real world. So Samsung's announced three TVs for 2022, which allows you to buy, sell, and collect art NFTs around gaming. So uh, I'm loving that these these physical uh, product companies are starting to incorporate NFTs into the real world. And I think it's only a matter of time before the metaverse is fully here and starting to, to be a part of our daily lives. Another massive uh, move for, for Marathon, which is a Bitcoin mining firm in the States that bought almost a billion dollars worth of machines. Uh, they're currently sitting at about 8,000 Bitcoins in their treasury, and they're adding another billion dollars worth of machines, which will bump up their, their daily, their, their mining amount, their mining hashes, I should say, to 23.3 exa hashes a second. So that's a huge, huge, huge number. That is a lot of uh, crypto that they'll be able to be mining. And it's over 78,000 machines. Uh, we've also got uh, OpenSea, which is an NFT platform, raises $300 million value in the NFT marketplace, company in the world, $13.3 billion. And you know, looking at, at different metrics in search, uh, buy Bitcoin, buy Ethereum, they're pretty much plateauing. No one's searching for that, but NFTs are hitting all-time highs for search volume. So I think it's only a matter of time before we start to see um, more and more of these platforms raising huge amounts of money. And speaking of NFTs, buddy of mine, Ben, sent this in. I thought it was pretty funny. In Australia, we're struggling to get the rapid antigens tests. Can't buy them. If you can buy them, they're like $25, $30 each. And as you've probably seen, the cases for, for New South Wales, for Australia, are, are spiraling out of control. 35,000 new cases yesterday, 35,000 cases today. So... I find it really interesting that someone has actually marketed and sold an NFT of a rapid antigen test for five, almost $500,000, $400,000 US. And yeah, jumping into the treasuries, uh, talked about Michael Saylor, MicroStrategy, adding some more to their, their holdings. They're slowly, slowly approaching that 1% holdings. And this has gone up a slight amount with... Uh, a huge amount of public companies as well as private companies holding that. No new governments. Uh, we've still got a bunch of these private companies and yeah, a couple of ETFs added to the list as well. And last but not least, I want to talk to you about something called the Rainbow Chart, which is a very interesting... It's a, a, a logarithmic scale, and it's, it's basically price bands for buying and selling. So this is a, <coughs> another... Insight that I, that I look at when I'm when I'm looking at my daily or weekly insights on, on where we're at in the marketplace, and you know, it's really simple. The the redder it gets, the higher you're in a bubble territory. So right now, in today's date, if we were sitting at $177,000 Bitcoin, it'd be in the maximum bubble territory, and you'd you'd be recommended to sell. Right now, we've been hovering in this yellow band for a little bit, probably since about September October. And then we've just broken down into the still cheap band. So looking at previous cycles, the, the first halvening we saw, it broke above this band. The second one, it, it basically touched the absolute peak of it with uh, you know, the fire sale happening at the lows. And then it started to move up again. Here's where the corona new, news hit. And we started to see 
you know, movement upwards. So we haven't seen that blow off top, but I still think we have, you know, March to May is my prediction. And as we get closer to March to May, I'm, I'll be you know, updating that based on data. So it's a, another really useful metric. If you haven't already uh, found this one, definitely go in and sign up to it or when I say sign up to it, just add it to your bookmarks and start, start following it as it's a really good indicator. You can start to see why uh, I'm looking at, you know, 40s and under as uh, still cheap for, for Bitcoin, as well as uh, 3,000 and under is still cheap for Ethereum. So how's the, how's the portfolio doing? Not great. <laughs> it's pretty much a break even. So, uh, you know, it was originally supposed to be a 12 month thing. I was supposed to be giving it away. Uh, in 12 months time and the goal is to get it to $100,000. If you haven't watched these videos before, the whole basis for this is all you got to do is go and comment on every single one of these videos and then when I when I think we're very close to the top, which I, I definitely don't think we're even near there right now given uh, you know a lot of things that I've just shown you, when we're at that top, I'm going to be giving it away to one of you, you lucky members. So all you got to do is comment on the video. I'm going to use a random comment picker. To, to pick one of you, and yeah, I'm going to be adding, I think I've got another 200 bucks this month uh, to add to, to this portfolio, so the basis of it is, there's affiliate links in this video below, go and click on them, you know, sign up to the different platforms, if you if you get value from them, some of them are free, all you got to do is sign up, I need a commission, other ones are a purchase, uh, also need a commission, and then I dump that commission into this portfolio, so it's essentially like a group buy you know, portfolio for you guys that I'm giving away. And the basis for, for the last time we talked was when this hits a 75 out of 100, which was a little bit lower than, uh, it's pretty much where it, where it got to last time. 77 was the peak. Uh, that's when I'll be giving it away. So uh, it's currently sitting at about 8,000. Uh, we're putting about seven 7,275 bucks into it. Uh, at its peak, it was currently sitting at about 12,000, almost double, 12, 13,000 dollars. Uh, so yeah, I'll be adding another you know, 200 bucks or so um, to to this portfolio. So let me just uh, pause pause the video. I'll add that now, and uh, we'll come and have a look at it. All right, so I've gone and bought a coin called Veracity (VRA). So this is a, a video-based platform that is helping advertisers get true clicks. So there's a lot of click fraud. There's a lot of ad blockers in in the internet now, and you know, advertisers are spending huge amounts of money and and keeping a lot of websites alive. And VRA helps that by incentivizing its users to be posting videos, as well as people who are watching the videos getting a portion of that coin. So I've gone and bought six thousand five hundred and seventy-four Veracity at two hundred bucks. It's currently valued at one hundred ninety-nine dollars and twenty-five cents. This is a great project. There was actually mentioned. It was a previous. Uh, project that was mentioned in our monthly newsletter that goes out to customers. So I'm kind of giving you guys a bit of a hint here that it is, it is quite a good project. There was you know, many, many hours of research done on this one by myself and my team. So great, great coin, great coin. So yeah, if you want to win this portfolio, all you got to do is comment on all these videos. Uh, I'm predicting that we're going to see a March to May 2022 blow off top. And yeah, like I said, looking at the CBBI when it hits a 75, I'm going to be you know, with, withdrawing or giving giving this uh, portfolio to someone directly. So yeah, go and watch the videos, the other videos, and you'll actually learn about a, a bunch of different coins as well. And you know, the whole basis for this portfolio is is to be dollar cost averaging. So uh, I've been purchasing a bunch of different coins, and a lot of them are up now. That's why I haven't actually gone back and doubled down on some of them, but. One great strategy to, to employ in your portfolio is if you're buying a coin, and you see Michael Saylor do this like all the time, he's literally, uh, this this is his dollar cost averaging price per Bitcoin. He's bought at 50,000, he's bought as low as 20,000. He just keeps buying it over time. So his average cost goes up. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Cue the outro. If you want to support the channel, go and download my Crypto Fast Start Guide by going to CryptoFastStartGuide.com. I'm also giving away $100,000 in crypto. Uh, all you have to do is go and watch this video and the previous seven videos and comment on it to be in the draw to win. 
made sure you go and check out Max Wright's webinar. He's talking about a training where $10,000 invested wisely today can give you a passive income of $100,000 per year in just 18 months if you take this easy step today. So go and register for this webinar. There is a lot of great content in there. You're going to learn a lot as a bare minimum and it's going to completely change your life as a maximum. The link is in the description for this webinar. It's also up here. If you have crypto and you want to earn up to 8%, use BlockFi. You can sign up using the link on the screen there or the link in the description. You can also borrow against your cryptocurrency rather than triggering capital gains events. I'm not a financial advice, I'm not a tax accountant, so I'm not actually giving you financial advice, but I'd definitely recommend speaking to someone who knows your situation. You can actually get $250 in crypto as a bonus when you transfer $100 or more into this wallet. And then finally, grab a crypto.com card and grab a crypto.com account. Uh, you can get a free $25 sign up bonus by going to to this link and the beauty of this is you can transfer crypto to your card and be able to spend it real time in shops. So as always, support the channel uh, because the more I get support from these affiliate offers, the more I'm actually putting into this campaign in order to give away to you guys. So that's it from me. I really enjoyed making this video for you. If you really enjoyed this content and you like these short kind of punchy videos, make sure to leave a comment below and just give me some feedback there. Again, make sure to give the video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.